And according to this story, Pakistan is uh, allegedly, reportedly supplying its most sophisticated Shaheen 2 missile to Iran. Why Pakistan will be doing so? And what could be the motive of this particular story at a very critical juncture in Middle East? In order to harm Pakistan's improving relations with the Western countries, hmm. particularly the US. Uh, the second possible motive could be to uh, implicate Pakistan in that and create uh, problems for Pakistan True. in terms of its very close and, and brotherly relations with several countries in True. the Middle East, including Iran and Arab countries. So Pakistan's uh, intermediate and ballistic missile range uh, missiles are mm. not available for sale. And secondly, Iran does not need them. They have very capable uh, long range missiles against any threat to them, their security. Mm. And thirdly, they have not asked for it. <laughs> they so have, not, is, asked they have for not asked for it. That mm. is very important to clarify. Mm. The motive, that's why I highlighted uh, behind this Indian narrative is to uh, bring into question Pakistan's impeccable, responsible strategic behavior True. and try to uh, blame Pakistan and build a false narrative of missile proliferation. Mm. As far as short, medium and long term missiles are concerned, is Iran developing these missiles at its own? Or is it getting some cooperation from uh, friends? For the revolution, Iran mm. was the most blue-eyed ally of the US. It received the most advanced <coughs> weapon systems, mm. which even Israel cannot think of at that time. Mm. Uh, not many people know that in the 70s, in the time of Shah, over two dozen nuclear reactors were uh, being considered for supply under the peaceful for program from the US for peaceful. For, for peaceful purpose to mm. Iran, which were obviously stopped. Iran mm. faced a major challenge in terms of, uh, uh, you know, having a different policy and ideology. True. In terms of the ballistic missile program, mm. such as the Sajil series, Sajil mm. 1 and Sajil 2, uh, are capable of striking any target up mm. to a range of 2,000 kilometers. Credible reports by leading American think tanks like USIP mm. as well, which recognize <coughs> Iran's capability of developing even mm. hypersonic weapon systems. In the recent uh, encounter between Israel and Iran, if you recall, uh, the Iranian uh, attack was not considered very successful. On but Israel. On Israel, exactly. uh, despite its uh, massive size. Mm. But um, uh, there were some skeptics who believe that the reason was that Iran was careful mm. not to showcase, demonstrate and use its most advanced missiles. Yes. It's cost effective, mm. uh, it is cheap, it mm. is affordable and it mm. is difficult that if there is a mass attack mm. of a few hundred or a few thousand True. drones, it will, be, it will saturate mm. and exhaust the Iron Dome and other very advanced weapon system. So it's like if there is a $20,000 drone mm. coming and you are using a five Millions or ten dollar. million dollar mm. uh, missile to defeat destroy it, them. even if you destroy it, mm. it is going to put immense pressure on the stockpile mm. and uh, budget of your uh, defense uh, uh, services.